Hi, this video is brought to you by TechDirectArchive.com. In this video, I'll be showing you how to add Google Drive to File Explorer in Windows. It is very possible to have your Google Drive configured to your Windows system, just like how we have OneDrive coming with Windows system as a default cloud drive from Microsoft. Both Google and OneDrive are among the best cloud solutions we have online and you can try many features that come with the free or personal plan of google drive before going for the enterprise version which comes at a cost so in this video i'll be showing you how to quickly add google drive to your file explorer in windows so the next thing to do now is to download this uh, Google Drive is to download it so um, this is the web page you need to browse through or navigate to then you will see this button below download drive from uh, for desktop so once you are done then you will now need to launch it. I already downloaded it. So um, inside my folder, let me check my folder. Inside my folder, my download folder. Then we sh okay, this is it here. This is my download, uh, the downloaded file for the Google Drive setup. So, um, on my drive i only have one uh, local drive here except this other one for my dvd drive so once i um, install the google drive then i'm going to see the icon here but currently i have just these two but once i'm done i will see the icon here so let's go ahead and um, start downloading now um installing i mean so i'm going to install now i'll just follow the step one after the other in installing it the installation will start any moment from now so once the installer starts just click yes Then you can check this, add an application shortcut to your desktop. You can add it. Then you can also click this if you want. Then you begin your installation. Click install. Then the Google Drive is currently being installed on your system. Any moment from now, it will be done. So immediately this installation is completed you also need to sign on to google you need an account for you to be able to make use of it if you don't have an account you need to set it up because um, that is what you need as your credentials you need to log in with the credentials so you need an account to be set up so um any moment from now this installation will be completed so once it's done okay um the same setup field to install google update um i might need to check that so maybe i need to also confirm let me confirm if i have internet access So I think I'm good. So um, I need to run it again. My internet access is fine. So let me run the setup again. So we'll come back.
and continue the installation. Okay, let's see. Let's try one more time. Let's hope this time around it will be fine. So the installation has completed successfully. So what we are going to do now is to launch. So it's launching the Google Drive now. Just make sure you also have a good uh, internet network because you need to log in to your Google account. So once you see this screen, is a welcome uh, message from Google. So what you just need to do is to click on Get Started. Then you need to sign in with your uh, previous account and if you do not have a Google account yet then you need to create one so I'm going to log in now so you'll be redirected to where you enter your login details So let me log in now. So let me enter my password. So I'm going to click next now. So um, I'm going to close this. So it's asking you to help keep your account safe. Google wants to make sure it's really you trying to sign in. Then um, I I already set up um, an authentication. Uh, I mean a two-step verification. So I will need to confirm on my phone. So Google is trying to see whether I'm the one trying to assess the system, um, assess my account. So it's going to send me the verification, a verification code. So I'm going to confirm that on my phone now. So I'm trying to check for that uh, notification on my phone. Um, I think it's easier. Yes. So um, yes, it's me. So it's going to redirect me now. It's going to log me in. So it's redirecting me. So let me sign in. So now you can see this the message success so you've signed into Google Drive to continue close this window and return to Google Drive. So let us go back to the C Drive page, the uh, Drive page I mean to see whether we now have uh, the Google Drive 
added as part of the drives. So we are going down. So let me uh, not here. So let me go to the page. Okay. So I'm going to let's see whether it will be added now. So you can see my Google Drive has been added to as part of my devices and drives. You can see it here. Previously we were having just the C drive and the D drive, but now we have the G drive is the Google Drive has been added so you can open it you can um, copy things from it you can copy things into it um, you can uh, do all sort of thing the way you you do on uh, uh, one drive you can as well do the same thing on Google Drive so it's is very very easy to set up and it's just as if you are working on your normal C drive or local drive. You can let's let, let me right click it and see some of the uh, contest menu that will show. My system is a little bit slow, so this is the this is what you can as well do inside this um, drive. You can show more and get to do more so as you can see you can rename it give it a name you can check the properties so it's very easy to set up and you are good to go just make sure you have um, an account set up then you have to log in and um, Google will confirm whether you are the rightful owner of the account and you are good to go so I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.